Welcome back, welcome back to the viewpoints. Ladies and gentlemen, with me, your boy, the man, Angie to the City, with the number two and TO. Today is July 14, 2017, December 17. God bless y'all, you know what's up. So I love you on this side, as we always talk about the Jesus love our ride. 100. This episode of the viewpoints. Now, I already made two videos that I had to delete. One, one because um, around eight minutes, um, uh, a guy from well, a student, a sophomore student from uh, Nice High School, you know, my alma mater, my school that I still go to currently, at least for the next semester, at least for the next semester, if not the entire year, because my plan is to get is to get all my recovery credits done in one semester and get my diploma this winter. Now, can that happen? Most definitely. You just got to put in the work, time, and effort to do it, and it can happen. But if I had to spend the entire year, I'm okay. Once again, because it's all, it's all love and 100. I love these high school daily. You know, y'all love me. At least most of y'all do when it's all love and 100. So, so on and so forth. I'm an ambassador of the school. Now, um, yeah, I had to stop the first video. It was around eight minutes. A sophomore student from uh, Nice rang my door. Uh, rang my door asking for, um, you, know, you know, football fundraiser. I don't cut. I don't donate twenty dollars for that. Could not do that today. Um, but then we chatted up about the um, football team. How how's everybody doing? And he thinks the team looks good and it, you know should hopefully beat our excuse me our cross bridge. Um, I said call it cross bridge. Uh, cross bridge rival. Our cross bridge rival. I said cross bridge at first. But well, now I'm saying cross the bridge. So hopefully we beat our cross bridge rival PV Ponavi Dry School. Which I don't think we've beaten in at least the last four to five years. I know all my time in these guys that we've never beaten them. We came close in my sophomore year, but we lost by one point. Um it was like fourteen and thirteen, something like that. But um to let y'all know, um, yeah, we chatted up about these high school, we chatted up about the football team. Uh, I told him I couldn't donate it today, but hopefully some other time in the future I can. Um, I donated um, two dollars uh, last week, um, last week to the cheerleading squad, uh, and hopefully eventually I can donate a hundred dollars or more to both to all of these athletics separately. By the way, to each every you know each and every you know, program because that's just who I am. Love these high school. And it's all love 100. And, uh, so yeah, two minutes, no, three minutes into this. Yeah, just, just, just let y'all know, like, you know, I, that's what, that's why the first video stopped, the second video stopped, I just made too many errors in the way I was talking, like, I just kept stuttering way too much. That's why I'm like, you know what, okay, I'm gonna start a new video, I really wanna start a new video, start a new video. But, um, yeah, Cross Bridge Rival, PV, Ponte Beach High School, hopefully we beat them this year in football. If we don't, still... By the grace of God, better luck next year. But hoping for that win this year, it's all love 100. We still wish PV the best and everything, as you know, good sportsmanship and so forth and so forth. And, you know, so forth and so forth. Um, and uh, to let y'all know, like I said, when it comes to um, summer sleeping, like I say, you know, when God blesses me to wake up, you know, at 7 or 8 and then go back to sleep and wake up at like, 12 or 1 or 2 or even 11, I look at that as still all blessings because he's still alive and he's still blessing me to catch up on sleep because one of the top things during summer is to catch up on sleep. It's one of the top biggest things that we do during summer, if not during our weekends, is to catch up on sleep. And um, like I said, the viewpoints eventually will become a um, studio show. I told y'all that like a year or two ago, eventually we'll become a live studio show or just a studio show. I don't know when. But eventually, somewhere, hopefully, in the next five years, it will become a studio show. And when I and here's the thing: when I keep saying I'm an ambassador in these high school, ladies and gentlemen, I carry myself as an ambassador in these high school. I'm not even joking with you. I promote that all day, every day. Um, and you know, I I live legitimately carry myself as the ambassador in these high school. I, I have that title, I've owned it, and so on and so forth. You know. And if you don't know me as an as an ambassador of these high school, you definitely know me. As a motivational speaker of Nice High School, everybody who went there the last year or two, 
definitely knows me as the ambassador. No, when I, if you don't know me as the ambassador, like I say, everybody who went there for the last year or two definitely knows me. Definitely the last year. Definitely knows me as the motivational speaker in East High School, if not the ambassador. Y'all know me as the motivational speaker in East High School. But uh, like both titles fit, the scheme fit. I love East High School. I'm always prom prom promoting it, and it's all love and 100. I'm very much looking forward to how the girls lacrosse team, the girls soccer team, the girls volleyball team, uh, the football team, and like I'm looking forward to seeing how all our athletics are doing. But if you, but if you ask me to go into Pacifics with the Pacific sport teams, the girls soccer team, girls lacrosse team, girls basketball team, boys baseball team, football team, and um, and uh, as I support all the athletics, but those are definitely the ones I'm I'm look, looking out for. Looking out for to see definitely whether the boys baseball team are going to go back to back with the state championships because we just won the state championship for the first time in our school's history with boys baseball, and I'm looking forward to see whether we're going to win, um, whether we're going to you know go back to the elite eight again in girls basketball, which we've been doing for at least the last two years that I've been there. We just been dominating and owning it. So shout out to everybody who plays on the you know play play plays on the team. Um, especially, like I said, I told Carissa Niles, the Carissa Niles, I told her I was so proud of her last year that she made the varsity team as a freshman. So once again, shout out to any other freshman girls who are making the, making the varsity teams, period. Whether it's girls uh, varsity uh, basketball or varsity uh, softball or varsity, you know, whatever varsity team it is. Shout out to any freshman that is, you know, that, that is making the, the varsity teams. So I told Chris and now is that I'm so proud of you that you made the you know varsity team in your freshman year. That's phenomenal. That's awesome. Proud supporter of Chris and Niles. Proud supporter of Kaya. Proud supporter of P. Train Payton. Proud supporter of um of uh, again everybody. I can't name everybody on the team, even though I'm pretty sure I know everybody on the team. Um, I feel like there's at least one per one or two people. That I that I forgot their their names, but I don't know. I do I do know the majority of the entire team, if not the entire team. But still, just shout out God bless everybody on on the on those teams. And like I said, I look forward to seeing how we're gonna how how we're gonna duplicate our successes and go bigger, better, and farther in the next you know few years and so forth and so forth. Shout out God bless the sophomore that's uh, six eight that goes to our school that I've met within the last two to two to three weeks of Nice High School, or at least the last month of Nice High School, uh, during the 2016-2017 school year. Uh, I met a kid that was 6'8", and I'm like, are you kidding me? You're 6'8"? Because he looks tall at first, and, I, and when I saw how tall he was, I'm like, I got to meet this kid. Like, how tall are you? He's like 6'8". I'm like, oh my goodness. I mean, I definitely support that kid to try out for sport teams, man. I, I mean, I don't care whether it's football Basketball trial for something, man. Being six eight trial for something, you know, you know, if, if you know, if his if his health allows him to do it, trial for something, you know, you could, we could definitely use him as a tight end or something for football, or use him as a center or something like that for basketball. Like trial for something, bro, something because you know, I mean, you look like you can do some real, do some real good for our team, you know. So shout out to Bus uh, Nice High School on that. Shout out to Bus him. On that he's six eight. I forgot his name, but more life, more blessings to him. And it's um eight minutes into this video. I think I've definitely done a better job than I did on, on the other videos. But yeah, uh, one of the top things I wanted to let y'all know is that, of course, it does hurt knowing that um, I'm not already you know done with high school with my you know when it comes to having my my diploma. It does hurt a little bit that I'm not already you know off to you know college with you know with a majority of uh, the my peeps, peeps from the class of 2017, um, or I'm not already taking that gap year or two off, like I said I was. So it does have a disappoint me, but um, it's still, it, but it's still, it's still actually, it's still all love and 100, and everything happens for a reason, and it's actually just more life, and more blessings for me having to go back for at least one semester, if not both semesters. So I'm trying to get it all done in one semester. But if I do two semesters, I just do two semesters. But it's definitely more life, more blessings for, you know, for, you know, you know, towards everything this school year because I get to leave. I get to, not leave, I get to uh, pick back up where I left off when it came to building my great legacy 
around these high school and I, you know, making my name known, presence presence felt, and um, you know, only my crafts. Because honestly, again, um, I do look forward to uh, the new building we got, cheering everybody on, getting my getting my uh, recovery credits and just owning this year. We can all own this year. I'm again, I will say this again, no reason to hide it. I'm exceptionally excited for all the freshmen this year because again, I do look forward to seeing which freshmen are gonna make the uh uh varsity teams and again, love kids, you know, love people. That's uh, my personality. And definitely look forward to seeing which, you know, which which freshmen are gonna make make varsity make a big impact on the school and I just look forward to supporting and encouraging all the freshmen towards that better tomorrow, towards making and building their legacy over the next, you know, three years, you know, you know, you know, and I said three years, like after this year, you only got three years left, 10 minutes into this video, because like I say, you know, especially all the freshmen from like the last two years know darn well that, you know, when, that, I, that I'm one of the most positive people that they've, they've ever met, they've told me that majority of times that I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm the most positive person they've ever met, on the last day of school, this girl, I was giving a speech to, I was giving a speech to like four or five, five or five, six or seven people, right, um, um, in front of the uh, administration office, and um, I was giving like a speech to like five, six, seven people, and um, and this girl who was sitting there listening to me, who I ain't never met in my life, she told me I should be a motivational speaker, because it actually, it was her and somebody else, it was two, her and someone else who told me that I should be a motivational speaker, and they were both freshmen, you know. Because yeah, you know, and and I, and I tell you this, that was my first time meeting. I think both of them, but they automatically told me I should be a motivational speaker. And my speech was only for like thirty seconds, telling them that, hey, if I'm not back here next year as a school student or a volunteer, I want you to try your best to, you know, to you know be that role model and mentor, you know, to all the new freshmen that are coming in. I want you to try your best to you know lead them in the right direction, and y'all all you know own. Own the culture around here together as a proud guy first. One one sister, sorry, one one sister unchanged family. Simple as that. Because the last thing I want to do is go, is come come back as a, either a school student or a volunteer, or just come back as a um, you know, as a as a fan during the sporting events, and then have a lot of a ton of freshmen come up to me and say, "Dude, we hate this school. We absolutely hate this school, man. Without you, this school is garbage. Without you, this school is terrible. I don't want to hear that." I'm not saying I'm not gonna hear it, but I just don't want to hear it. And if I, you know, but I'm I'm open to hearing it though. If it's their honest opinion, I'm open to hearing it, uh, and, I, and I'm open to seeing what we can do to, you know, change that for them. Because like I say, you know, to any any generation coming, any future future generation coming here, they need to be welcomed with over. With, 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 this is not just with these high school. This is with every school across this country and planet. They need to be open with open arms, knowing that this is a. A set, you know, a safe, warm, and welcoming um, learning environment that they can come for the next four years and build their legacy and own their future and promote to all their friends and so forth and so forth. Thirteen minutes into this video, so so forth and so forth. Like I say, you know, it does hurt to a certain degree not being already, you know, you know, gone as a school student with my class of seventeen and coming back as a volunteer. But at the same time, it's just more life and more blessings still because, like I say, you know. Um, like, cause like I say, still you know I get I, I because still as a school student, cause I don't know how much time it would have taken me to get approved for the application to be a, a volunteer, but I do know that uh, that immediately after, if if not if not if not a month or two before, um, immediately after I get 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 my diploma, I'm gonna apply to be a, a, a apply to be a vo vo sorry a volunteer, and the way I look at it most prominently is um like I say um yeah, I'm gonna immediately apply to be a volunteer. And um, I just look at it as this year, most definitely, is, you know, as a school student, this is my chance to once again, you know, pick up back where I left off last year, uh, you know, and building my legacy bigger, better, and better for everybody, not just myself. And we go ahead and own this stuff for the better tomorrow. Uh, I got more the, the viewpoints coming soon, but thank y'all for watching this 14 uh, minute long video. I definitely did better in this one than I did the first two. God bless. Shout out to everybody. Love y'all. Once again, this chain, your boy, man, into this video. Peace.